Alright, um... Let me roll around. Three sniff. Ooh, that was pretty close. Then let me pet ya. I'm gonna spare both of you. Bye! Dogs can pet other dogs. The new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Bye! Alright, let's keep going. Alright, the PlayStation buttons. X, circle, triangle, but no square. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his mom's spaghetti? Um, I ate it. Really? Wowie! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. And yeah. Alright, bye. There we go. Let's keep going. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. All right. Human. Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle. I arranged in the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lady brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is. Worry not, human. I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Worry new, so... Alright, there you go. Wow, you solved it! And you did it all without my help! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then! It might even be too easy for you! Yeah! Heh <laughs> heh! Hi, Sans! Good job on solving it so quickly! You didn't even need my help, even though you weren't here the whole time! Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing! The human! You're going to love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphys! You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but... If you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is, in, is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which is piranhas do not like. Blue, purple, and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They, do as, they don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Understand the explanation? Uh, yes. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Yeah, get ready. Epilets this time. Ah. All right. Just spinning around like la 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 la. All right, hardest solution. There, I didn't do it in less than zero seconds. I am the worst puzzle solver ever. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he has started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, maybe next he'll even make something edible. 
Alright. The machine isn't working. That I've never seen in the standard pacifist run. Seems like the base of a snow dog. It's a broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. It's a broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. I wonder if the geno post genocide run has anything to do about it. It's a broken head of a snow dog. Seems like the base of a snow dog. It's a broken head of a snow dog. Broken head of a snow dog. Seems like okay, whatever. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. On the floor inside is a box of palm raisins. Dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. He kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But, as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until... It was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Knowing that, Dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. He fills it with determination. Alright. Oh my god, this puzzle is so impossible to do. Whatever shall I do? Oh my god, I'm just kidding. I did it. I did it! Yay! Alright. Made a bridge. I won't go down, because I already, um... Um, encountered that um, one sick super boss, but... Oh well, I don't want to do it again, though. The snow puff. What a tiny doghouse. Woof! So much snow puff. Alright. Let's go. Hi, doggy. Hi, dog. Uh-oh, you're pretty buff. It's a greater dog. Um, let me, um, back in closer. And then let me pet ya. Um, can I play with you? Alright. Then let me see. Can I pet you again? Ah, oh, dang it. That capacity reaches 100%. There we go. Now I'm gonna spare you. Now you'll be a good dog and say farewell. Farewell. Oh! Your head is a butt now. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! The Dogi! No! When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire! Spikes will swing! Blades will slice! Dogs will dog! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Just do it! Don't let my dreams be dreams! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! <laughs> that, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one, even though you used that, even though we, he encountered your battle in the genocide room, but still. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Heh. 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 Bye. I don't know how my what my brother is going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. I already, 
I already knew about blue attacks in the beginning. Kind of. Welcome to Snowden! Yay! Alright, let me check my inventory. Wrong. Um, I should probably buy the manly bandana. Let me go store an item. Alright, monster candy it goes. There we go. I don't really care because it's like I'm not gonna use it that much. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Sure. I'll withdraw back the monster candy. Alright, let's check the inn. See how interesting it is. Welcome to Snowed Inn. Snowed Inn's premier hotel. One night is AG. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Alright. Money back for free! Alright. Let's keep going. Don't want to... Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. I'll check it out later. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little synonym just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Yo, you're a kid too, right? You're sure you're not a squid? I can't tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, the skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Food different from monster food, it does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. Better watch where you sit down in here, kid, because that big guy will jump in your lap and give you lots of love and attention for centuries. But we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into, onto their butts. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. No wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Alright. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Woof! I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show up my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Alright. Rills said that he offered you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Alright. If I can't do much around here, so I'm gonna get out of here. Oh yeah, there's a jukebox. Which is broken. So let's just get out of here. Everyone's always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dear, dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just...